In Skyblock, coins make the world go round. If you have coins, you can basically do anything you want. So in this video, we've compiled a bunch of ways that you could be making so many coins that you could become a billionaire within a month if you tried hard enough. But what would you actually need to do to make this much in a month? Let's say you have 6 to 8 hours a day where you can be actively grinding every single day for a 31 day long month. This means that you'd have to find a way to make about 4.03 million coins per hour. Is this difficult? Yes, it is. But is this possible? Yeah, it's absolutely possible. As well as trying to actively grind for 4 million coins every hour, there are several passive money making methods that can make you money without actually having to do anything. And we're gonna cover those first in this video. Oh also, I want to remind you to subscribe, we're getting really close to 150k subs. So subscribe to be in under 150k subs gang. Passive money methods make you money by doing literally nothing. You can even be offline if you want. Like all things in this video, it's gonna require a little bit of starting money and a fair bit of existing things unlocked. Although we'll try to be as beginner friendly as possible, the first thing you have to do is make sure you keep using your forge slots. There's so many items here where the material cost is much lower than the cost of the thing you made from them, and all it takes is a bit of time. Literally, at the time of recording, you could be making a 3 million coin profit on every single gemstone mixture you put in the forge. If you have all 5 forge slots, you could be making a 15 million coin profit every 4 hours, which is quite literally almost enough to earn a billion coins in a month from logging in twice a day and then going offline to do something else. You can see the kind of money you can make here. Just check the prices of stuff you can make in the forge against their material cost and make sure that there is always something being made to sell in your forge. The same thing applies to cat too. Just stick a profitable pet in to become a higher rarity for profit. Before we continue, we have a word from our sponsor, Tradery. Tradery is a website for trading Skyblock items. If you're itching to sell an item that people aren't buying on the auction house or you want to get a better deal, you can list this item on Tradery in order to take offers of other items or coins without paying for auction fees and you can leave it up for as long as you like. You can also find stuff that can't normally be sold on the auction house like minions or special farming tools. It's basically like those discord servers where you buy and sell stuff but without the annoying people trying to scam you, abusable rep systems, and other dodgy stuff. It has a good review system so you know who you're buying from, a direct chat with the sellers or buyers, and many other things that make finding good deals or items way easier. The best bit? It's all free. They also do giveaways and contests sometimes. Go over to tradery.com slash hypixel and start trading stuff today. Okay, back to making money. You also want to make sure you have a good minion setup. Don't spend too much on one, but a good set of cheap clay or snow minions will produce a lot of passive income for you forever. Especially with the diamond spreading, you can expect to be making between 1 and 2 million coins a day with minions, which is always better than nothing. Finally, the bazaar is your friend. <laughs> You can place huge buy orders for items you think are going up in price in a day or two, like buying tons of whale bait to resell before a fishing festival, or buying tons of crops after a farming contest that you can resell to NPCs. Making these kind of predictions can be a bit risky, but with a good understanding of the bazaar, you can easily leave some orders up and come back to some lazy profit in a couple of hours. You could even get more advanced and find ways to purchase materials to craft more expensive things too. More info on advanced bazaar flipping in this video right here, I'll leave it in the description. Anyway, those are a couple of ways you can be making money passively, but you're probably here to find out how to make money actively, what you should be using your time for. Remember, this isn't exactly a race, there's no rule that says you have to earn a billion in a month, and you can use any of these methods that seem the most enjoyable to you. Just remember, your time is more valuable than any number of coins in Skyblock, so please go outside as well. The first and probably most popular method has to be the nether wart farming. It's as simple as it sounds, 
you get a nether wart hoe, and you farm a lot of nether wart with it. Each nether wart will sell for 3 coins each, and because this involves an NPC sell price, this method is never gonna stop working. I'm not a very good farmer, I only have a level 66 elephant, and I'm farming 32, and I still make around 3 million coins per hour with this method. You can see based on other farming competitions that the top 5% of players get around 1.2 million warts in an hour, so they make 3.6 million coins an hour. This number gets even higher if you use the Bountiful Reforge that gives you 0.2 coins for every nether wart you get, and you're only ever gonna get better over time with your wart farming. As for something more modern, look no further than the Crystal Hollows. If your heart of the mountain sits or close to it, Here's a method I've done personally that works really well. If you aren't heart of the mountain six, it's really easy to grind it in literally a day or two in the crystal hollows, and all you really need for that is a royal pigeon and a gemstone drill or better. All you gotta do is reset your heart of the mountain and pour all of your crystal powder into the mole perk and treasure hunter perk, and then maybe all of your mithril powder into quick forge so you can do that passive method a bit quicker. Then. Take your drill over to the precursor runes or the mithril deposits and just start digging a huge hole into the walls. You'll notice that you quite literally tear everything up and you get several loot chests. Inside these chests, you can get automaton prime parts worth around 150k each or treasure right worth 50k each quite commonly, as well as other things like armadillo eggs and heaps of powder you can put back in your heart of the mountain perks. Obviously, now that I've shown this method, it's probably gonna get patched or not work quite as well. But, whenever a new update drops, you should sink quite a lot of time into it to see if you can discover any tricks like this that will make you tons of coins. In earlier days, I could be making up to 10 million coins an hour from this, although now, it's probably more around 5 or 6 million an hour. Limited time events are a great way to make some money too. Aside from making some really safe and predictable investments, taking part in the events is gonna make you more money than usual, and give you something different to do. Spooky events happen every 5 real world days and are a good way to make money. Even if you don't get every leaderboard reward from hitting 2400 candy scores, the candy itself is a lot of profit too. If you have the tools, Spooky Fishing makes even more money from the special sea creatures, around 10 million coins an hour. Other profitable events include the mining fiestas and Diana's mythological ritual that are all worth partaking in. Some of these are luck based though, and you can't expect to win every time. Floor 7 running in general is still a pretty good profit, as long as you keep at it, you will eventually get a handle. But a much more consistent way to make money from dungeons is frag running. This is where you join a floor 7 run make a beeline to the blood room, kill the giant and then leave. The main money makers here are Diamante's handles, and you can expect to get anywhere between 2 and 6 of these an hour, depending on your luck. These sell for 1 million coins each, and you can get quite a lot per hour from this. Just make sure you have an alternate account or friend or a frag bot to queue into dungeons with, and you'll be good to go. Back on the theme of recent updates, Enderman Slayer is still some pretty decent profit, as long as you can kill them. Personally, tier 3s make me around 4 million coins an hour. Null Spheres alone are gonna make you a bit of money, but extra drops like Summoning Eyes, Blood Chalices, Espresso Machines, and Transmission Tuners, and that's just tier 3. If you can do tier 4s, then you can get a 600 million coins judgment core, alongside a higher chance to get all of the other rare drops, which will make you a lot of money. Although the amount of things you have to keep track of here can be quite mentally draining. Finally, ghost busting is back in fashion. Killing the sorrows in the mist is still a good money method if you can do it, especially after the release of the crystal hollows. Just hop into the pit, no no not that pit, and you'll be making millions an hour. So if you put everything together in this video, passive and active, then you can probably make a billion in a month if you had the time and attention span for it. However, Everything you see here requires you to have some good money to start with, and not everyone has that. If you guys want a video about making your first few millions of coins as a new player, then leave a like and comment about it. 
it'll be kinda like an extension of our beginner's guide. 